Now we'll take a look at solving two-step linear equations. And in order to isolate the variable, we'll first undo the addition or subtraction, and then undo the multiplication or division. So looking at the first example, we have 4x plus 7 equals negative 21. So in order to isolate the variable, we want to manipulate this equation so that it's in the form of x equals some number. So notice how we have 4 times x plus 7 equals negative 21. So we'll first undo the addition. So the opposite of plus 7 will be minus 7. So we'll subtract 7 on both sides of the equation. So plus 7 minus 7 would be 0. So we'd have 4x equals negative 21 minus 7 would be negative 28. Again, we can think of this as negative 21 plus negative 7 if that helps. And now we have 4 times x equals negative 28. And 4x means 4 times x. So to undo this multiplication, we'll divide both sides by positive 4. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1, and 1 times x is equal to x. And negative 28 divided by positive 4 is equal to negative 7. So our solution is x equals negative 7. Looking at the second example, we have negative 2x minus 9 equals negative 21. So again, to isolate the variable x, we want to manipulate the equation so that it's in the form of x equals some number. So the first step will be to undo the subtraction. So we'll add 9 to both sides of the equation. Minus 9 plus 9 would simplify to 0. So we have negative 2x equals negative 21 plus 9 is equal to negative 12. And now we have negative 2 times x equals negative 12. So we'll undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is equal to 1. So we have 1x, or x, equals negative 12 divided by negative 2 is equal to positive 6. So our solution is x equals 6. Let's take a look at two more examples. Here we have x divided by 3 plus 5 equals negative 4. So again, we'll start by undoing the addition here. So we'll subtract 5 on both sides. So plus 5 minus 5 is 0. So we have x divided by 3 equals negative 4 minus 5. Or we can think of this as negative 4 plus negative 5, which would be negative 9. And now we need to undo this division. Well, the opposite of dividing by 3 would be to multiply by 3. So if we multiply the left side by 3, we have to do the same to the right side. And then here, dividing by 3 and multiplying by 3 undo each other. So this simplifies to 1x or x. And here we have negative 9 times positive 3, which is negative 27. So the solution is x equals negative 27. And for the last example, I think it's going to be helpful to write this first term as x divided by negative 2. Remember, it doesn't matter whether this negative is in the front, in the numerator, or the denominator. But in this case, it's going to be easier to solve this if it's in the denominator. So we'll first undo the subtraction. So we'll add 9 to both sides of the equation. Minus 9 plus 9 would be 0. And negative 2 plus 9 is equal to positive 7. And now we'll isolate the variable by undoing this division by multiplying both sides by negative 2. This multiplication division undo each other, so we're left with x. And on the right side, we have positive 7 times negative 2, which is equal to negative 14. So our solution is x equals negative 14.